Graphing equations, slope intercept form. Here we go. Drop that B, Joe. First you plot the B, which is where the line passes. Through the Y line, that's the vertical axis. Then you use the slope, which will help you define the next point on the graph of this linear line. Draw a line through the points, draw it straight, use a ruler. Completely through the plane, that'd be even cooler. Murphy, are we done? Now check it, listen to me. Put some arrows on the end to show infinity. Graphing you start equations. with this problem in the standard formation. But now you gotta change it to a different equation. You need a point where to start, another to make the line. So let's start moving stuff, just listen to this rhyme. First you move the x to the opposite side. When you move it, don't forget to change the sign. If there's a number by the y, then you gotta divide. Hit the number by the x and the one to the right. Now it's in the form y equals mx plus b. That's the one you need for graphing these equations, you see. You remember this one and you live through the algebra storm. Now you're graphing these equations, it's slope intercept form. First you plot the b, which is where the line passes. Through the y line, that's the vertical axis. Then you use the slope, which will help you to find the next point on the graph of this linear line. Draw a line through the points, draw a straight, use a ruler. Completely through the plane, that'd be even cooler. Murphy, are we done? Now check it, listen to me. Put some arrows on the end to show infinity. See, the equation. number by itself without the x is b. Put a point on the y where it's at, you see. The new number by the x is m. Is what? The slope, kid. Now listen while you're talking. It's rise over run. The steepness of the line. From the b, use the slope, and I do put you'll find. First the number on the top, just take a look at the sign. Apply it to the numerator, that's the rise. You go up if it's positive, down if it's negative. Now use the denominator for the run of it. Plot all the points you can, then go the opposite way. Slope intercept forms easy with Mr. Murphy. First you plot the B, which is where the line passes. Through the Y line, that's the vertical axis. Then you use the slope, which will help you to find the next point on the graph of this linear line. Draw a line through the points, draw it straight, use a ruler. Completely through the plane, that'd be even cooler. Murphy, are we done? Now check it, listen to me. Put some arrows on the end to show infinity. That's graphene equation.